The early days of uh, Korean development, job creation was uh, a key part of industrial policy because uh, that, that was a time when there were a lot of uh, underemployment in rural areas and uh, the very high unemployment uh, in the urban areas. And uh, a lot of uh, the industrial policy was focused on creating jobs in labor-intensive industries. So the, that was uh, always uh, a key part of industrial policy. Of course, uh, the, what made Korea different was that they didn't stop there. They didn't say we need jobs and we'll just uh, the, the, the create jobs uh, directly by developing labor-intensive industries because uh, manufacturing industries can create jobs indirectly. Yeah? When they that, uh, raise productivity and that, uh, expand the uh, export and so on, they begin to buy inputs uh, from uh, other sectors. Uh, they they uh, generate incomes that are spent in the service sector or the, uh, in the agricultural the, the market and so on. So uh, there's also this uh, indirect uh, job creation uh, aspect, and you know that they also that. The in addition to that, uh, creating jobs directly in the labor-intensive manufacturing sector, they also that, that raised uh, productivity and expanded market in a more kind of uh, high-tech uh, sectors, uh, which then does, uh, trickle down into the bigger economy to create a lot of uh, indirect employment. So the, you know, the people often the say that uh, you know, manufacturing uh, technology today is such that uh, they don't create jobs anymore and therefore it's uh, uh, no good for job creation, but uh, they are ignoring this uh, indirect uh, job creation effect, uh, which uh, the, the can be even more important than the direct impact.